Hello and welcome to my channel, I went to lose gaming. Here is a quick video where I will provide some advice and math for the upcoming Staff of Homa rerun banner. Now I don't have time to attempt to be funny in this video so let's just get right into it. Here is the weapon banner which has the Elegy for the End and Staff of Homa as the featured 5 star weapons. And in terms of 5 star weapons on this weapon banner, this is by far the best weapon banner we have seen to date. This weapon banner has the best in slot option for more characters than any other weapon banner up to this point. The Staff of Homa is situationally the best in slot weapon in terms of damage for every single polearm character except for Raiden, whose best in slot is, you know, her signature weapon, the Engulfing Lightning. This means that the Homa is the best in slot weapon, again, just for damage in most scenarios, for Hu Tao, Rosaria, Xiangling, Zhongli, and in some situations, even Xiao. Now, I am a little bit skeptical of the Homa remaining the best in slot option for all those characters because Mihoya may release an even better pull arm for certain characters, like they did with the Polar Star Bow for Child, which kind of power crept the Skyward Harp. Anyway, the LG for the end was released a long time ago, and it was with one of the worst 5 star weapons in the game, the Skyward Blade. On top of that, the epitomized path did not exist back then. As such, it was on a banner that was not recommended to pull, unless you were a whale willing to potentially spend an infinite amount of primo gems. So as such, back then, you know, most people couldn't really in good faith recommend pulling for the LG for the end unless you were a massive whale. So taking a look at the bow characters, overall it's the best in slot weapon for Venti. There's situations where other bows can do a little bit more damage, but the LG, you know, is an amazing weapon on him. And it is the best in slot weapon for support Ganyu, for getting huge melts off with characters like Hu Tao. And it is a situationally good weapon on Diona. So Diona can use the LG for the end, although it does take her a long time to proc the LG's buff. And of course it is the best in slot weapon for support Amber, and really you should be playing Amber as support. As for the other bow characters, it's okay on Fischl. Fischl is a very consistent and reliable activator of the LG, but generally speaking you want to up Fischl's own damage because she does a lot of damage herself. So speaking of gambling, I want you guys to know what you're potentially getting yourselves into. The weapon banner is always a gamble unless you have around 210 pulls, which is 33,600 primo gems worth of pulls. Remember that hard pity for weapon banners is 80 pulls instead of 90, but it's very rare to go to 80 pulls and you will almost certainly get a 5 star weapon in around 70 pulls. In other words, I feel comfortable recommending for you to have 210 pulls to basically guarantee the weapon that you want. And now this next part is really really important, but first you need to understand how Epitomized Path works. Here we have the Polar Star and the Memory of Dust. So I've selected the Polar Star, and if I get the Memory of Dust or any other 5 star weapon, then we will add 1 Fate Point. And at 2 Fate Points, the next weapon is guaranteed to be this selected weapon. So in other words, this guarantees you the 5 star weapon of choice in 3 5 star weapon pulls. Now this next part is super important, but you will start off at this screen, like this, and make sure to select the weapon that you want. And this looks like you've selected the Polar Star, but you have to click on this chart course button. Otherwise, five star weapons that you pull that are not the polar star will not provide you fate points. So again, select the weapon you want and then click chart course. Do not forget to click chart course. I repeat, do not forget to click chart course. The next thing to keep in mind is that the epitomized path, the fate points here, do not roll over to the next banner. And if you get the weapon that you selected, let's say I get the polar star, you can of course back out and stop pulling. And it will also reset the epitomized path points to zero. So in other words, all your primo gems will be wasted if you do not get the five star weapon you wanted. So this is a big risk for you if you do not have around 210 pulls worth to guarantee that five star weapon that you want. So in my opinion, if you have 210 pulls or so, and this weapon banner is by far the best weapon banner, providing the best slot option for so many different characters, for the most characters that we've seen up to this point. And this leads to one of the largest power spikes to your account in relation to the primo gems spent. 
So if you have enough Primo gems to guarantee yourself a Staff of Homa, you also have a very good chance to get the Elegy for the End on the way to getting the Staff of Homa. So anyway, if you have 210 pulls worth, I strongly recommend considering this banner especially if you have Hu Tao as well. It's worth quickly mentioning that the 4-star weapons are no slouch either, with the Sacrificial Sword being great on Xing Chou, the 4-star energy weapons being alright, and the Witsith, which is still the best nuking catalyst. And of course you have the very mediocre Rain Slasher as well. But now let's take a quick look as some math for how good the LG and Homa are. Now I did review the LG for the end in the past, before a specific nuke setup with my Hu Tao, an R1 Elegy increased her Melt Burst damage by 11%, and an R5 it increased her Burst damage by 23%. And this may not seem like a ton of damage, but it definitely adds up. Now if you only get the Staff of Homa, and let's compare this to a Refinement 5 Dragon Spain, you will end up doing around 15% more damage on Vape, and you will also do 35% more damage on Melt. Now let's say you get both the Homa and the Elegy, compared to a Refinement 5 Dragon Spain on Hu Tao, then your Hu Tao will be doing around 29% more damage on Vape, and 52% more damage on Melt, which is a massive increase in damage for the Primo Gem spent. In comparison to other areas that you could spend these same Primo Gems, there are very few situations where spending this amount of Primo Gems will lead to this large of a power spike to your account, or to a specific character. One of the few contenders to this is, for example, Constellation 2, Raiden Shogun, who gets a very large damage boost from her Constellation 2. And of course, this is with my Hu Tao stats, so your mileage will vary depending on your Hu Tao stats, but you'll see roughly this amount of damage increase with these weapons. Now, most interestingly of all though, is that the Elegy unlocks this team composition for your Hu Tao. This team is Hu Tao, Amber, Xing Chou, and an animal character, either Kazuha or Sucrose. Now this team comp allows for a very cool boss slaying rotation, with a double vape on Xing Chou Z from Amber's Burst, and then followed up with a ton of vape pyro damage with Hu Tao right after. So this is a really fun and rewarding and my preferred way of playing Hu Tao. This used to be a whale exclusive team composition and playstyle because of the Elegy for the End, which only whales really should have pulled for back in the day. But now, a lot of non-whales will end up getting the Elegy for the End, which unlocks this awesome team composition for you to play with. Again, the Homa and Elegy are amazing weapons on other characters, so if there are situations where Hu Tao and Amber are not great, then throw the Homa on Zhongli or Xiangling or Rosaria or Xiao, and throw the Elegy on Venti or support Ganyu, or even still Amber, and you're powering up those other team compositions by a ton as well. So anyway, I'll quickly provide a summary of my advice. Strongly consider pulling on this weapon banner if you have 210 pulls worth of Primo Gem saved up, and if you already have Hu Tao. Remember to select your epitomized path weapon and to click chart course. And if you have 140 pulls worth of Primo Gems or whatever, and you're fine with either the Homa or the Elegy, then this is still a good weapon banner to consider because at that point you're guaranteed to get one or the other. Now the Homa and Elegy are again the best in slot options for a lot of characters in a lot of scenarios, and these two weapons are still always used by whales for speedrunning. Also remember that the pity counter for getting a 5-star weapon does go over into the next 5-star weapon banner, but always keep in mind that the epitomized path progress do not go into the next weapon banner. So with that, I hope you understand the risk and the rewards of pulling on the upcoming Staff of Homa and Elegy for the End banner, and hopefully this will help you make a decision in that regard. Also, I regularly make Genshin Impact videos, ranging from Caesar showcases, DPS showdowns, guide videos, and more. So be sure to smash the subscribe button as it's the best and easiest way for you to support my work. Also, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out.